Welcome to our Team Guru tutorial, Quality Alerts Documents. Our Quality Alerts document helps you to keep all relevant people informed about a quality issue, its scope, impact, and resolution status, and you can easily launch a linked RPS or AD for in-depth root cause analysis and corrective actions management. So let's get started and let's look at one uh, document, quality alert document that it is already existing. On the left panel, click quality alerts module and then from drop down menu, choose quality alerts. And now it will take you to the list of all the quality alerts that they already exist. Uh, you will see that first, uh, if you want to create the new uh, quality alert document, you will have to select a site where you would like to uh, create this document. And then in the right upper corner, you would have to click the green plus button. But for our video tutorial, I would like to just show you our already existing document and uh, how to work with it. So let's open, for example, this one. And here you will see the title of the quality URL document, the leader's name. Here you will see all the uh, summary of the quality URL document. When you scroll down, you will see the descriptions. Uh, you will also see all the people that needs to be informed about this quality URL document. And when you scroll down, you will also find all the corrective and preventive actions uh, that are related to this quality URL document. Uh, so let's just go to the settings of this document. And here you will see the document number that it's added uh, automatically, your title name, and here you can choose if you would like to share your quality alert document with public or only with invited users. And if you would like to share it only with invited users, then from the menu you will select uh, the individuals. And now you are ready to set up all details in our definition tab. You will start with location where the problem occurs. This location is not the same as the sites under where to display tab. Here you will choose sites that you would like your quality alert documents to be displayed under. Uh, next you will select a leader and all the other details. Uh, here you will describe the problem. You can use the editing buttons. Uh, when you scroll down you can also add picture and attachments. And here you will select all the employees that they need to be informed about your quality alert document. And here you will see that you have two options. You can either add individual user by clicking this new user blue button or you can also add users group. And when you choose this blue button and would like to uh, select a group, you will see that you have options uh, from the groups that are already created in the system. But if you need to create a new user group, you would have to go to our settings in right upper corner and uh, go to user groups and create one. But you have to have a sufficient role if you want to create a user group. And after you select all the people that need to be informed about this quality alert document, we can continue with more details. So when we scroll up, we'll see that we have to choose our problem reject type. Problem reject type, they are predefined, usually predefined in the system, so you will just have to choose from the menu. And if the new problem reject type needs to be created, you would go to quality alerts module and then choose problem reject type from submenu and create one there but uh, only users with sufficient role uh, can do that. And then you continue with all the other details. They are pretty self-explanatory. But here I would like to uh, point out one of our great features, Stockhold Actions. This feature helps you to easily control Stockhold Actions for any of your quality URL documents and also track the completion status for every business site that you choose. And due to Stockhold Actions template that you can find in our Quality Alerts module in the submenu, you are able to create any predefined actions in the system that you can easily add to any of your Quality Alerts document and you set up this template once and use indefinitely. And we do have a separate video tutorial how to create Stockhold Actions and how to uh, use them. Uh, so it is highly recommended. So please look for a video tutorial Stockhold Actions. 
And now when you continue and finish all the details, you just have to scroll all the way up and click save and view your document. And now you see your document and it is very important to point out your quality alert document is not uh, sent automatically after you save it. Uh, you actually have to click the send alert update notification button so this quality alert document is sent to all the users you have selected in the settings. And all these users, they will receive email notification with the PDF attachment of this document and also live link to this document. And once they do, then they can start communicating uh, through this uh, comments feed and they can also start adding corrective and preventive actions right here. Um, here you will see one more button, create stock hold actions and uh, that's when you use your template that you have created in the system and then the uh, predefined actions from the system will be added to this uh, document automatically. But as I said, uh, please check our video tutorial for stock hold actions. And our quality alerts document module is linked with uh, RCCA module root cause and actions and also AD uh, reports. So you are able to initiate uh, any RCCA or AD uh, directly from here. And to do that, you just simply click on either one. So let's click on initiate RCCA and see what happens. And now you see that your RCCA is created and it is displayed under your related documents. And now when I click on it, it will take me directly uh, to that RCCA document. You will see that some fields are already automatically uh, completed uh, based on your quality alert documents. And you just have to go on and finish your document. And the process uh, to initiate AD report is the same. You just click on the button, then you will have to choose the template. And now you will see your AD report is created. So once again, when you click on it, it will take you directly to it. You will see some predefined fields. And once again, you just have to finish it. And now let's go back to our list of quality alerts documents and I would like to show you how you can filter your documents and how you can also uh, view some statistics. And here you select first uh, site that you would like to see this quality alert documents for. You also have an option to include some folders or not. And now when you click on show filters button, you will see that you have an option to filter your documents by status, completion status, created and so on. And there is also additional advanced filter that gives you more options to choose from. And once you select all your filters, uh, you will see the list of all your quality alerts document and a quick detailed overview. To view statistics of your quality alerts documents, you just have to click this show statistics button. And here you will see that you have the same option to work with filters. Here you will see a summarized um, overview. And you also have an option to export these statistics to Excel. And when you are done, you just have to close it. And I would like to point out that our quality alerts module is linked besides AD reports module and root cause actions module also to our reports module. So when I go to our reports, uh, I can show you the example how you can use the quality alerts in our reports. Here you will see the overview list of quality alerts documents based on your uh, selections. And you can also see Pareto. And if you want to learn more about our reports, you can watch our video tutorials uh, for reports. But just show you very quickly, if I go to uh, edit uh, this list and Pareto, uh, when I go into the settings, here you will see that you can choose the module, quality alert, and all the other uh, options. So org units, uh, which columns you would like to see in this list, uh, and then use the filter. And the same goes uh, for the Paredos. When I go to the settings, here you will see when I go edit data that you have a choice to choose data source quality alert statistics. And then you can choose if you would like to see Pareto and other options. Once again, the filters, more settings if it's graph, table, and so on. 
And before we finish our video tutorial today, I would also like to go quickly over our quality alerts uh, submenu. Uh, here you will see we talk about quality alerts, problem reject tab and stock hold actions templates already. But all the other ones, they are the same as problem reject type. When users with sufficient role, usually your uh, system administrator, they are able to predefine uh, these in the system. So then you have an option to choose from the menu when you are completing your quality alerts document. And that's pretty much it for today's video tutorial. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at teamguru.com. We would be very happy to hear from you.